Poets, which enabled Shakespeare to make extensive use of the convention whereby a woman would successfully disguise herself as a man, which in turn enables me, a man, to take on the role of Rosalind, who, pretending to be a man, is chastising the young shepherdess for having spurned the attractions of the young shepherd. Who might be your mother? That you insult, exult, and all at once over the wretched. What? Though you have no beauty, as by my faith I see no more in you than without a candle may go dark to bed, must you be therefore proud and pitiless? Why? <clears throat> what means this? Why do you look on me? I see no more in you than in the ordinary of nature's sail work. Odds, my little wife, I think she means to tangle my eyes too. No, faith, proud mistress, hope not after it. Tis not your inky brow, your black silk hair, your bugle eyeballs, nor your cheek of cream that can entain my spirits to your worship. You, foolish shepherd, wherefore do you follow her? Like foggy south, puffing with wind and rain. You are a thousand times a properer man than she a woman. Tis such fools as you makes the world full of ill-favored children. Tis not her glass, but you that flatters her, and out of you she sees herself more proper than any of her liniments can show her. But mistress, know thyself down on your knees. And thank heaven, fasting for a good man's love, for I must tell you, friendly in your ear,